As soon as I saw this shoe, I was absolutely certain I was going to bring it to the channel. Just straight away, it's like, yep, doing that, that is an absolutely unique shoe. I've never seen anything like it before. Have to talk about it. Dug into it, found out a ton more about it, and it just went up and up in my estimation about being an interesting shoe. I'm never going to wear it. It would never fit in with me. I'm just way too old. This is way too unique for my kind of wardrobe, but I can still appreciate it. I can appreciate the technology that goes into it. I can appreciate how it ties up to these guys right here. That's the fear of gods. And we'll get into that in this video today. There's also echoes of like four different Air Maxes from my era, which is talking about late 80s, early 90s. And then on top of all that, there's some really great design elements and I'm not going to ruin the shoe for you until the end of the video. How kind of me. I'll wait till the very end and then ruin the shoe for you. Uh, and if you want to know about that, if you want the shoe to be ruined, stick around and watch the rest of the video. Uh, if not, you can cut away midway through. But with uh, all that being said, there's plenty to talk about as we take a look at the upcoming release of the Nike Air Max Furiosa NRG. This is the Tokyo Butter 23 Sneaker Channel. Tokyo Butter 23 Sneaker Channel days. My name is Jepson and Oden. My name is Jimmy Dekurusai. And every single day from Tokyo, Japan, I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And today it's all about a wild shoe. As soon as I saw these air units double stacked on the back of these guys, I was like doing that. And then it turned out that that wasn't the most interesting feature on the shoe. Uh, and, uh, and there's just a lot, there's a lot going in. There's a weird shaped outsole. Uh, there's a random hole right through the middle of the shoe. Uh, there's a redundant lace that doesn't have any purpose whatsoever. Uh, and so there's plenty of reasons to talk about the shoe. And then I'll ruin it for you all the way at the end uh, when I make a comparison between these shoes and something else that people out there just do not want to hear. Um, so that's a lot to talk about, a lot to get, to get into. So we better get on with it and start straight away. So let's get into, um, you know what I think I'll do is I'm gonna start with the bit about looking at the whole shoe. If we look at say the lateral side and some echoes of previous Air Maxes. So what I'm talking about is in the upper and I'm also talking about in those stacked air units at the back here so if we stay with the upper first there are echoes in here especially around at the middle where there's a little sort of bump that comes up out of the midsole onto the upper and it has echoes of Air Max 97 Air Max 98 kind of era so you look at that on its own and you kind of be like yeah I get that that little sort of bump that comes up a little swoosh on the inside very much Air Max 97 98 uh, but then if you travel forward from that a little bit and have a look at the toe box there's a sort of split in the leather on the toe box that reminds me of my favorite Air Max of all time, the Air Max 93, which was the very first sneaker I got on my journey to loving sneakers. That was the very first one I finally had the money and the means to get. Loved sneakers before that. There were some Air Max 180s and Air Max 90s and stuff like that, but the money wasn't there for them. But when it came around to the Air Max 93s, big shoe for me in the history of sneakers and talking about a 23. Uh, so that toe box on there with the split in the leather very much reminds me of those Air Max. 93s so we've got the 98s 97s 93s and then if we go and have a look at that double stacked air unit the top one I think I'm right in saying goes 270 degrees around the back which would make it again the Air Max 93 and then the one below that sort of has echoes of Air Max 1s and Air Max 90s so there's an awful lot at play on this shoe that's coming through from the history of Air Max and uh, Air Max in general I was going to say Air Max 90 Air Max in general but it doesn't feel like that it feels like a completely unique shoe you don't look at this and think oh you know what they're ripping off the Air Max 93s it just doesn't feel like that even though you can see it when you really take a look at all those details I just laid out for you guys out there uh, clearly there are uh, parts of the shoes that are taken right out of history uh, but it just doesn't feel that way and I think that's, that's a plus on the, the shoe uh, and then if we stay down there with those double stacked air units let's get in and have a look at those in closer detail and then flip back out to those fear of gods the classic kind of OG silhouette the big chunky ones not the moccasins and stuff like that. Uh, they, they're famous for having their double stacked air unit, but it's one air unit that's double stacked. It's not two separate air units to create that double stack. Whereas if you look at today's shoe, you can see they're two very separate air units. They look like they've been sort of plugged in one after the other instead of being one mega air unit. It's two separate air units giving you that extra bit of bounce and the hole that I'm talking about is right in front of that and I'll be absolutely honest with you I don't think it's going to work I don't think this hole hopefully I'm finding a way to show you here that looks right through the midsole straight in front of the air units slightly on the angle looking right through the midsole to the other side there's a hole there kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Insta Pump Furies over the Reebok line with the whole chunk missing out of the midsole and outsole unit but the thing here is that you have got that tiny little hole that looks through it's very thin 
but below that you have got a continuous outsole and I just don't see that work and I think there's going to be too much stress on the shoe with the bits sort of uh, going against each other stretching left and right up and down forward and back and all that kind of stuff I just don't see it weathering very well might be completely wrong the guys at Nike do have access to better technology than I have access to so they might have got this one right but I just think these guys are going to wear and tear pretty fast so that's my kind of prediction on that and since we're down there on the sort of midsole area and that stacked air units at the back we might as well flip them upside down and have a look at the outsole with the grind rubber all about recycling and move to zero and all that kind of stuff over at Nike these days trying to cram it into shoes uh, but more important to me and uh, might maybe maybe not more important but at least more interesting to me is the shape of the outsole my goodness it's square it's an extremely square especially the back two-thirds of the thing an extremely square outsole it's kind of like whoa where's the sort of you know the curve in the middle where the sort of bridge of your foot would be and the uh, usually the outsole you see it curving in so round at the heel curving in, in the middle and round uh, on the front the forefoot but it doesn't happen here it's a very straight very square looking outsole and again like I said it's making it that grind that rubber on there uh, and then the uh, next place to go I guess is we could go around to the back and have a look where that redundant lace is tied uh, in black across the back of these guys I can't see any purpose to this it reminds me of an off-white I think they were a series of dunks if I remember correctly where they put um, this extra lace wrapping around the outside edge uh, and it didn't have any purpose redundant and pointless uh, and it seems like that to me here is that it's just for design it doesn't actually serve any purpose to hold the shoe tighter to your foot or give you any extra stability I can't see much more in the laces themselves uh, you can't see the end of them the aglets for example to see what's going on there they seem to be tucked on the inside but they do look like fairly standard laces to me and then back from them you can see onto the insoles a bit of branding on there I think I'm right to say black branding on the white insole so uh, uh, there is something missing from what I wanted to talk about with these shoes the drop date's a bit confusing I think I'm right to say uh, here in Japan it's like right on when I'm making this video it's going to be like June 2nd or 3rd or something like that but they're predicted for something like June the 8th uh, overseas so I don't know if Japan's going to get them ahead of the game or not uh, but I did definitely see them already on the sneakers app here so uh, they can't be too far away uh, and I think it's everything I, I, I want to ruin them for you like I said at the start of this video I'm going to ruin the shoe for you at the very end of the video uh, but I want to make sure that I've covered all the ground that I wanted to cover on the shoe uh, and I think I have done that all the different Air Max 90s that I was looking at the Air Max 1s and 90s and 93s and 97s and the 98s all wrapped up together in the shoe so uh, so I think I've covered everything I want to do on that so I'm going to ruin it for you now uh, Nike Air Max uh, Furiosa uh, NRG, NRG is the name of the shoe and I'm sorry but as soon as I saw Furiosa I couldn't help but think of Hermione Granger and Harry Potter. Now if you're sort of thinking where on earth is he going with that I'll, I'll join the dots for you guys and then you won't be able to look at the shoe again without thinking about Hermione Granger and it's to do with in the very first Harry Potter film slash book uh, she has to do a magic spell where she says uh, Wingardium Leviosa and she does it in such a way that the other kids uh, you know tease her about it Leviosa, Leviosa, and I cannot look at this shoe, the Furiosa, uh, without thinking of Hermione Granger, you know, a Nike Air Max Furiosa. Um, so, uh, so sorry if that ruins it for you, um, but it's a really poorly named shoe if you ask me. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong, maybe it's Fury Osa or something like that, but, uh, but for me I just can't help but look at this and think Hermione Granger from the Harry Potter series. So uh, probably not the connection that people want to make in these shoes. I mean, Emma Watson's a great actress, the character's an amazing character uh, the books are incredible books that many people appreciate but when it comes to sneakers I'm pretty sure tie-ups to Harry Potter or something that uh, the brands are not really looking for out there might be wrong but that's just my take on this shoe so uh, and with that being said it's time to wrap this one up and just finish up this video hopefully you appreciate that take on these guys these Furiosas and all the different stuff that's going on in there it's the stacked air units and tie up to the uh, fear of God line uh, the other air maxes that are wrapping it up into the shoe redundant laces all the stuff I said at the start of the video hopefully I've remembered to talk to uh, you guys about it throughout the rest of the video and, uh, and you guys appreciate that uh, like I say June 2nd or something like that on the sneakers app here but June 8th on uh, the websites and stuff that I look at so uh, keep an eye out for it in your local area to see when they actually are 
going to be dropping. And with that being said, it's time to wrap up another video. We're, we're past 900 days. I finally did a calculation uh, December the 9th, 2018 uh, to today is something like 905 or 6 days. So we're into the last 100 days of trying to get to a thousand consecutive days on YouTube without a single day missed. Fingers crossed we can keep that going. I am keeping it going and because I keep it going I get to say the same thing at the end of every single video which is I do this every single day and that means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.